how do we bring in AI into coaching in a way that respects psychological safety, generates opportunities for insights, and all it's all done in a way that's compliant also to emerging laws that are coming out, like EU AI Act, for, EU AI Act, for example. A lot of coaches are not ready for that. They're not ready for compliance being slapped on them before they've even had a chance to use the AI. But effectively, it's equivalent to GDPR. It will be required. And if you're using AI as part of your profession and you don't have the right frameworks and systems and compliance in place, you, you can be prosecuted. And it turns out, you know, that the top 10, uh, if I look at the top 11 risks of AI that EU AI hi highlighted, it turns out like nine of them are directly applicable to what coaches have to work with, with their clients in sessions. So um, having said that, there are some people who look at AI and go, if you look at what somebody's doing, they're not necessarily going to first of all ask, is AI doing that for you? People don't really care on the street whether AI is doing something or not. They just are more concerned about whether their needs are being met. So they don't care if the engine behind uh, a particular bit of software is AI you know, driven or whether it's human driven. Until, of course, they find their own agency interrupted <laughs> and they're, they're trying to do something, but the machine says no. <laughs> All right. And there's no human in the loop. And then people will start feeling disempowered. So there is that risk. And um, I'm one of the people who's trying to get coaches to see this is not something you can talk about once a year in your next annual conference. This is happening now. And in the next three to six months, the rate that it's getting adopted in the world, if you're not keeping pace with that rate of change, you'll get left behind.